friends and everyone else in between. Today is the second video in Trans Women Week. So if you are new, make sure you subscribe and click the like button because this is exciting. Today's special guest is Melissa. Say hi. Hey girlfriends and boyfriends. A lot of questions in the last video were about not understanding the difference between sex and gender. So I think it's about time we got a trans woman to help out with this concept. So before we start, let me put up a little drawing that I made of the average human being, okay? So here we go. Let's start with sex. Okay, biologically, sex is generally binary male, female, or in rare cases, intersex, meaning you can have both male and female DNA. Primary sex traits are down here. Everything else is secondary sex traits like breasts, skin texture and smell. So where does gender come into play? Gender is a range of characteristics between masculinity and femininity. This might include biological sex, gender roles or gender identity, which is up here. You can identify as a man, as a woman, non-binary, agender, the list goes on and on and on. Your gender can, and for many people does, match your biological sex. A woman with a vagina, a man with a penis. But sometimes it doesn't match up, and that's what we call transgender. Someone who might be born as a male, but identifies as a woman. Your genetic sex does not match up with your gender. There are so many different labels in the trans community umbrella now, you can watch this video to go and see them. Then we have the third piece to the puzzle, sexual orientation. You can be born female, identify as a woman, and like men, a heterosexual, cisgendered woman. You can be born biologically male, identify as a woman, and be a lesbian. As long as you understand that these three pieces are separate, you are golden. You can be born as a male, identify as a woman, like men, and lead a heterosexual life. That would make you a straight transgender woman. The word transsexual only refers to transitioning your physical sex and has nothing to do with sexual orientation. The most interesting thing about gender though, to me anyway, is that the word woman and man can mean so many different things to individual people. I think it's time for another project challenge. What do you guys think? So for this week's challenge, I want to know what the word man or woman, however you identify, what that word means to you. You are going to take a famous piece of artwork. You can use any of the ones I linked below for you guys, or you can use your own. And I want you to pair it with three words that you feel describes a woman or a man. One of the words has to deal with a mental state, one of the words has to do with an emotional state, and one of the words has to do with a physical state. When you are done with it, go ahead and post it to our Tumblr, or you can go to our website right here. I We'll see you guys back here on Friday with another trans woman video. I love you guys. Until then, look inside into the moon. I'll see you guys then. Bye! Due to a person's age, sex, or potential health risks, some people may not even be able to transition. The important thing.